Hey, what's going on guys? Michael from Spruce and Sharp here. Hope you're all doing well. And in this video, we're taking a look at another new product. This time we're looking at Samson's Pomade, which is a water-based pomade from Michigan, advertising an all-day hold as well as a matte finish. And some of the unique things about this product are that it is a barber-made product. So one of the guys at the company that actually makes this product is a barber himself. And then there is another guy in the brand as well. He helps with production and marketing the product and all of that. So just two guys in the state of Michigan making some products and the other cool thing about this product is based on kind of what I've seen from various parts of the internet this may actually be one of the few products that can actually achieve an all-day hold and then some so we're gonna cover whether or not that's true in this review of course and let's just start by looking at the packaging like we normally do this time we have a three ounce metal tin with the screw top lid here as you see is the label Samson's hair care hair pomade and then on the back you have some information about the product and surprisingly there are no ingredients listed on the product I do have a list of the ingredients though I'll put it in the description for all of you I don't know why they don't have the ingredients on the tin I think it's kind of standard practice to have the ingredients but uh, whatever reason the ingredients aren't anything harmful to, or anything like that to worry about the ingredients are all pretty natural and hair healthy so I wouldn't have too much concern there so when you take off the lid just to show you what it looks like on the inside as you see it is this very creamy sort of tan colored product on the inside and the scent is a pretty nice and fresh uh, sort of citrus scent, I guess. It doesn't smell like citrus candy, but it doesn't smell like a, a cream school either, but it kind of has those qualities to it. But either way, it's pretty nice. I'm just gonna show you how it scoops out. It scoops out very nice and creamy, and the breakdown is also very creamy as well. However, you will notice that it's pretty thick and sticky and waxy, and that definitely speaks to its claims of having all day hold, and I would definitely recommend taking small scoops at a time because this is a very dense formula, as you can tell, it's really spreading between my fingers. So it definitely takes small scoops at a time. And also when it comes to application, I would also recommend small scoops because it kind of tends to stick to your hair a little bit. So I'd recommend small scoops in towel dried hair and you shouldn't have any problem getting the product through your hair, though you might feel some tugging and pulling. But honestly, if the hold is going to be an all day hold, I think that's sort of a worthwhile sacrifice. Now when it gets to the actual performance quality of the product, this stuff, yes. It has serious hold to it, and it's very easy to overdo it with this product. You really only need to use small amounts of product at a time. Typically with pomades, more is more, but I would say with this product, definitely start with way less than you would any other pomade because the hold really is that strong. Even in my hair right now, it feels like I have a little too much in my hair, and I only applied like two dime-sized scoops to my hair, and that's normally too little for most products for me. But this stuff has some serious, serious hold to it. It feels almost like you're styling with a waxy, like heavy hold oil-based pomade, except without all of the weight and all of the greasiness that we would associate with an oil-based pomade. This one is much cleaner, much lighter in weight, but it has that distinct waxy quality to it. And like I said, it's pretty intense. Like the hold is pretty strong. I don't know if I would call this a versatile product because it is really waxy when you run your fingers through like you're going to finger comb. I mean, you can get something, but because it is so waxy, you might get some hairs like this sort of hanging off on the side. For me, I found the best solution for styling my hair with this product due to its wax factor is with a wider tooth comb, which still allows you to show some texture, but gives it a lot more structure and order than if you were to finger comb with it. So for me, I'm just going like this really gives me the best style. And I also found that giving this product about 15 to 20 minutes in your hair before you set up the final style is definitely worthwhile because the product sort of settles a little bit and it's not as aggressively waxy after, like I said, about 20 minutes of sitting in the hair. But as you see though, get a lot of height, get a lot of nice shape, though it does still feel distinctly waxy and there is some definite hold to work with. It advertises an all day hold. Yeah, I would say that that's pretty spot on for once. This is a truly all day hold product. I have gotten through eight hour work days and then some with this product. I've gone to the gym with this product in my hair. I've done a lot wearing this product in the past and yes, this stuff will not lose its hold throughout the day. This stuff has a strong hold and it sticks around. Now it might have too much hold for some people. Some people with like say finer hair, this product might be too aggressive for you. It might be too waxy for you. If you have thicker hair though, or a medium hair type like me, it's perfectly usable, but yeah, it has some serious hold to it like I said, which is why again, I would recommend using a little bit less to start with because 
it's really unique how strong of a product this is and that also speaks to the endurance this is one of the few products i'm going to give an almost perfect score to endurance for this stuff will endure all day long it will last the entire day like i've already said i give it a perfect score for endurance and you saw me style my hair with the product restyling the hold remains the same so definitely there there's no issue to worry about when it comes to getting through a day as well as restyling now the one criticism i have about this product though is it advertises a matte finish but i wouldn't necessarily call it a matte finish i would call it more of a low shine or natural finish in my hair to me i see a slight slight hint of polish and i would say that kind of disqualifies it as being a matte finish product but for a product that contains no clay in it and if you use it for a more sort of neat and orderly hairstyle you could say like i said it has more of a low or natural shine which, you know, if you want to go for a slightly looser hairstyle, it still works for that. And it's a very clean looking shine. It's a healthy looking little touch of shine. It doesn't look greasy by any means. It never gets greasy at all. It stays pretty nice and clean and waxy for the most part of the day. So everything continues to look clean even later in the day. Now when it comes to washing the product out of your hair, you might guess that because it is such a strong waxy product that it probably is a little bit difficult to wash out of your hair, even though it is water-based. But I would say, actually, it really wasn't much harder than any other, like, sort of strong-holding water-based pomade. For me, I just used one round of shampoo with a pretty standard shampoo, followed by a round of conditioner, and I let the conditioner sit in my hair for the remainder of the shower, and it all came out and pretty much washed out pretty easily nonetheless. So now that brings us to the final verdict for the Samson's Pomade. What do we make of this product? Well, this is one of the few products out there that can seriously claim that it has all day hold and actually deliver. The hold on this product is insane. It will really last you the whole day and then some. It's even worked fantastically for me in really hot weather as well. And if you know me, I live in New Jersey where the weather can be pretty humid and disgusting and it still holds up just fine. This stuff is extremely extremely waxy, extremely strong, extremely durable while never getting greasy. The hold remains all day. And like I said, the hold could be a little bit too much for some people with certain hair types and styling preferences, especially if you have finer hair. I would say use very, very little of this product if you have fine hair. But uh, yeah, the one major criticism though that I would say is that it's not a true matte finish, but it still looks very clean and it might just have the slightest touch of shine. But for me, like I said, using something like a wide tooth comb, I get a style that I'm pretty happy with that still gives a little bit of texture, but keeps everything nice and orderly as well. So for the most part, still looks clean, feels clean for the whole day, and it restyles amazingly. So yeah, this product is unique. I could say, like I said, it's a bit too much hold for some people, but other than that, I think it's pretty fantastic for what they set out to do with it. So if you want a product that can be a real workhorse for you, this might be the one. So yeah, with that said, this is a review of the Samson's Pomade. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and don't forget to subscribe. Also make sure that you check the description down below for a more detailed written review on my blog, as well as a link to where you can find this product for yourself. And at the way, 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 way bottom of the description, as per usual, I will be comparing this product to a few others on the market to give you an idea of how it might stack up against some others in your collection. So yeah, with that said, I'm gonna go start editing this video so I can get it up on the channel for all of you as soon as possible. So you all have a good one and I will see you all soon with another video.